Hey guys, sorry I've been feeling a little bit sick. Um, my group of friends, a lot of people have been getting sick and passing it around, so I haven't been able to film recently, but I wanted to do a quick haul video. By the way, I still have a giveaway planned for you guys, but I still need to like prep some stuff for it before I do it. But yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the first thing I talk about is this all-nighter spray by Urban Decay. So I got this extra large one on Outlook. It was on sale. You know, and I had tried the smaller version, but I don't know if they changed the formula recently or something, but the formula is a little bit different. Or maybe just the bigger bottles are better than the smaller bottles, but I actually think this bigger bottle is a lot better than the smaller bottle. And I already like the smaller bottle. I guess they put perfume in it, which, you know, some people would consider a bad thing. I like it. I really like how it smells. It smells really pretty and fresh. And also I noticed the big bottle actually sprays a little bit finer and so it just doesn't feel as thick and sticky. So if you don't like the small bottle, you know, I would maybe suggest even trying the big bottle because for some reason either they changed the formula or it's a little bit different now. I don't know what it is, but I like it even more than I already did and I already really liked it. <laughs> and so the next thing I tried is this Shiseido sunscreen. This is the Urban Environment one. So a lot of people were saying, oh by the way, it's SPF 50. A lot of people were saying that this one would actually be really good for oily skin, so I was like, super excited. Um, my first thoughts were that it was pretty expensive. It's a pretty small container. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. Let me compare it to like a brush or something. So it's a pretty small container. It's pretty thin, as you guys can see. The plastic is pretty thick, so there's not a whole lot of product inside. So as far as smell goes, it has a really nice light smell, as do most Shiseido sunscreens. But it was really thick. It's pretty a lot thicker than the Shiseido one that comes in a blue bottle. I definitely prefer the one that comes in a blue bottle. Um, it's a bit more thin and sheer, and I like that it spreads really easily. Also, this one made me feel really, really greasy. Like I just felt super greasy. I got really oily. Had like an oil slick face at the end of the day. I don't recommend it because it just made me feel so greasy and thick. I don't think it's a very good value either. But this smells pretty good, but I still think the one that comes in a blue bottle is actually a lot better for oily skin people. And just in general, because it's so much more product for the price. This one, I just don't feel like is really worth it, because look at how little product you get. It's just so small, it doesn't really justify the price to me. So the next thing I tried was this Can Make It's Eyebrow Powder. So I personally really like eyebrow powder, and that's because... Um, like most Asian girls, my eyebrows can get really thin really quickly. <laughs> and sorry, it's really hot right now. It's probably in the 90s, which is pretty hot for SoCal. Normally, you know, I like to use brow powder just because even though I like the look of a lot of pencils, I feel that it kind of makes my eyebrow hairs fall out. It comes with two colors, a base color and like a deeper color. I can really only use the deep color for my whole brow just because my eyebrows are kind of dark. But ideally, you would fill in kind of thinner spots with the base color and then you would just emphasize the arch in the end with the deep color. But I just filled in my whole brow today with the deep color. It has a cute little checkerboard pattern. So what do I think about it? Um, it comes with a little brush too. A little angled brush, which I don't like. It's actually kind of really cheap feeling and you would think this would be okay, but this is actually really thick. Um, but if you're someone who likes those kind of thick Asian brows, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like those like Korean makeup and Chinese makeup, um, kind of that look. If you like that kind of look, then you'll really like this. But if you like really emphasized brows that look very sharp and clean, then you're probably not going to like it. But if you like that soft, full look, then I think you would really, really like this. And then, otherwise, I don't think it's like a great value or anything. And it does last all day. It lasts very well. It lasts much longer than most brow powders I've tried. The next thing I tried was these two Sigma brushes. So Sigma first came out with a few set of these Sigmax brushes. As you guys already know, this is like my favorite foundation brush ever. It's the F80, gives you a great finish. Um, and so when this became really popular, they basically made a whole bunch of these brushes with this kind of, and I'm glad because I think the MAC Duo Fiber brushes were awful. So these are their two newest ones. This is the Flat Angled Kabuki F88. You could use this if you're someone who likes to contour really heavily, then this would be really good for buffing out lines. It'd be really good for um, taking a darker colored foundation or a dark matte cream blush that's kind of skin colored and buffing it in to give yourself an illusion of like a sharper fade, whatever it is that you want to do. So unfortunately, I don't really have a use for this because I don't wear my makeup super dark and I don't like to contour my makeup very heavily. And so I don't personally really have a use for this. This is probably what you would use that for. And then the next brush they sent me, this is the one that I really liked. It was the Precision Flat Angled Brush. This is the P88. So I think this is supposed to be a eyeshadow brush and I don't like to use it for eyeshadow just because I actually like to use it for under eye concealer and I'm going to show you guys how I use it really quickly. I was using this Urban Decay one for a while. This is some a good karma brush that they gave us in the Beautylish social about a year ago and so this is what that looked like. 
And when I got this, I was like, oh, it's just like the same thing, but it's a little bit bigger. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I use it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tiny bit of Smashbox primer, pat it on underneath your eye. And then I'm just going to take my under eye concealer. You're just going to want to put a little bit of primer underneath. I don't actually use primer on my face anymore because I find that it makes me more oily. But I still like to use it under the eyes because it makes the concealer apply a bit smoother. It also makes it look less dry. And I think dry under eye concealer and too much under eye concealer are the reasons why a lot of people's makeup looks really heavy. And especially under eye makeup. I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer. This is the Shiseido concealer stick. This is like my favorite under eye concealer. And then see, this is where most of my darkness is right here underneath the eye area. It's kind of drowning out because the light's really bright. There you guys can kind of see it now. And so I'm just gonna go start patting it in and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna place my brush where it's darkest and then I'm just gonna keep brushing down, brushing down, brushing down. My favorite thing about this brush is that it makes it so that you can use less product so it doesn't look too cakey. And then also it just kind of blends out for you as you guys can see. And you guys can also layer it up if you have very severe under eye circles. But it gives you a very nice natural finish. It looks super natural. And then afterwards, you can just set it in any way you like. So I love using this brush for under eye concealer. It puts on a really thin layer. It applies it really smoothly. I really like it. There's just nothing bad I can say about these brushes. And they stand behind their products too. I know a few people, if their brushes got messed up, they would like send them new ones and stuff. So I really like this under eye concealer, and I don't know why I feel like this is like this is a little bit big for Asian eyes to use for eyeshadow, but that's why I just use it for under eye concealer instead. I think it's a great under eye concealer. Brush. The next thing I got was this blush from Benefit. So they sent me a bunch of these little like box blushes, and I was really excited to try this one. This is Coralista, just because it's probably one of the most popular blushes. This is what the box looked like. It smells really good. All of these box blushes smell kind of like slightly like rose candy. And that's the color. I'm actually wearing it right now, but it's getting a bit drowned out. So maybe you guys can see a little bit better now. It's getting a little bit drowned out and washed out. But, um, so when I first tried this, I actually didn't like it. I was really disappointed because I really liked their Hervana blush. The Hervana one was the pink one that I showed you guys, and it had like an angled brush. Also, I like the brush that comes with the Hervana blush a little bit better, just because that one's angled. And I like to sculpt with my blush. And so with this one, I have to kind of buff it in a little bit more just because it's like this flat brush. But it's this, like you guys can see, this really deep pigmented coral color. So the reason why I didn't like this that much is that it's very frosty. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, it's very frosty. I discovered that if I wanted to wear it, then I had to wear a lot of it. Like a lot of it on my cheeks and then I put even more right here on my cheekbones to contour. Just because if you're someone who is very oily, or if you're someone who doesn't have the greatest skin because frost colors will actually emphasize that. They'll emphasize the uneven texture of your skin. And so both of those people tend to avoid frost blushes. So I do kind of avoid frost blush. So that's why I was a little bit bummed out because the Hervana one just works better for me color wise. But then I really like the color. So I'll, what I'll do, like I said, I'll just build it up, build it up, build it up until the color can show up more. But it's still a little bit frosty for me. But I think it's a really beautiful color. So if you're into that whole bronze goddess look, then this is a really good color for you. But like I said, it's a little frosty for me just because I, I can't really wear frost blushes. And then the last things I got were these bracelets by H&M. Um, so I think h and is kind of like a terrible place to shop in. It's just, I don't know about you guys, I can never really find cute stuff in there. So I get really frustrated and I leave really quickly. But I saw these bracelets on my friend Jenny. You guys can see her right here. I saw these bracelets on my friend Jenny the other day and they were just so cute. She had like a mint green one and a white one. And they're these little enamel bracelets. You guys can see, very small. So they're a little small, so I think if maybe you have like a larger wrist, they probably wouldn't work that well for you. And they have these little clasps. And these ones came in a group of two. Uh, the black and white one came together. I'm not sure what comes with the coral. I'm going to guess it's mint green. I'm not sure. Because this was the last one left, so they just charged me like half price. And they're $7.95 together. So they charged me like three something for these. I really like these. I think they're really cute. The only thing that I would warn you about these is I noticed a lot of them in store were damaged or sloppily made. A lot of them would have the enamel part on the inside go over the middle part. So yeah, if anything, I would just be careful about which ones you buy. Just because they can get a little bit sloppy and a lot of them were damaged. But um, I really like them. I think they're very cute, very nice to stack and coordinate. Very classy. And then I saw these as well, and I also really like these, and these were an extra small, 
And these are $9.95. So at least these ones come in a little bit different sizes. They had like large and medium as well. So you guys can wear them. I, oh, I just love how classy these look and clean. I really like the Hermes ones, but they're just really expensive. I'm not going to spend $7.95 on a bingo. And so the last thing I tried was the Zoya polish. And this is in the color Avery. So I've been wearing this all the time. I know these are called like mannequin hands or something. Just these little nude colors. But I really like it. I really, really like it. I wish it was a little bit less blushy and a little bit more nude. I still think it's pretty good and I wish it was a little bit lighter and I think it would be like perfect. The colors were kind of messing with it so I just wanted to show it in person. Sorry it's chipped right there. <laughs> I just wanted to show it without the sun kind of messing up the colors. This is an Avery. So this is my first Zoya polish I ever tried. Um, you know a lot of my close friends actually really don't like Zoya so I've never tried it just because I thought it would be like bad nail you know, polish. And so I finally tried it. This is in just two coats. Really I think this is probably some of the best quality nail polish I've ever tried and I've tried Chanel, I've tried Dior, you know it's better than OPI too. The brush is very thick like OPI, um, really good coverage like you guys can tell and it's also free of like a lot of dangerous chemicals which I know a lot of people care about. It's three free so um, I think that's really good too and I just think the color is really great and it has really great staying power. Um, usually most of my nail polish will chip within the first day and this one lasts maybe three, four days without chipping, so that's really good. I'm really surprised that my friends don't like this. They talk a lot of smack about these, but these are actually really good, I think. And so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget, I'm going to have a giveaway soon. It'll probably be my next video, so keep your eyes out for that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.